All right, we are here on scene. I'm right here on scene. Oh my gosh. This thing does not look safe. I can't believe this thing. Did this thing flip over? This thing is... What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Liberty County video. We are back here in ERLC with another video for you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and use star code Ruffles when you're buying Robux or Premium to help support me and the channel, everybody. And without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So uh, today, I actually have pretty something cool for you. And uh, but, anyways, we got our new hazmat response team, as you guys can see. Your special operations hazmat technical rescue right here. It is so amazing. Can you climb up this ladder? I don't think you can. But, anyways, um, we're just, we actually just got this new equipment here, uh, from the city, and, uh, it was actually pretty cool because we just recently got trained on how to use this type of equipment, um, but we are good to go now, so, uh, there we go, uh, I got a bunch of my, uh, stuff on me, and I think we should be good. Alright, anyways, um, hello good sir, how are you doing this morning? You smell very, very good. Very good. Just letting you know that. Nice bald head. Did you get burned off? Uh, Mike got burned off by a fire or something. Okay. Good enough. I don't really know. I mean, that's good enough. Uh, we have a new location at the hashtag. Shout out to Uncle Jim for screwing up that one call. Woo! Um, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, respond to that uh, in our hazmat response team. And let's see here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and respond uh, code 3 to... Uh, seems like a chemical spill uh, over at the uh, Spring Creek here. Wow. Everybody, Uncle Jim had one job, and that was to make a 911 call, and Uncle Jim messed it up. All right. Everybody go ahead and harass Uncle Jim in the comments below. Uh, I will heart every comment towards Uncle Jim. So, anyways, uh, we're making our way over to the uh, Sheriff Department, and uh, I really don't know where the Sheriff Department is, but... I'm really good at guessing, so uh, I'm going to guess it's over here, and uh, there we go. Alright, we're responding to this call here. Nice, nice. Alright, almost there. I'm going down the wrong way of the freeway because that's what savages do. That's what savages do here. Uh, is it around here? Uh, oh, I do see it. I do see it. Alright, we are here on scene. I am right here on scene. Oh my gosh. This thing does not look safe. I can't believe this thing. Did this thing flip over? This thing just flipped over. Look at the green gases coming off of this truck. There's no way that's safe for the community. There is no way. I'm going to get some backup going here. Here we are. We're near the sheriff's office over here. We're going to get some police and DOT up in here. I'm going to go ahead and get my hazmat equipment on. Um, because obviously this scene is not safe to have regular clothes on around here. So we're going to go ahead and get our uh, hazmat level C. Um, check this out here. Or, you know, I think it's level A actually, isn't it? Yeah, level A. I'm stupid. No, it's not level A. What is it? I don't know. I really don't know. What is it? I don't know. I'll go level B. Yeah, there we go. Now it's level B. Okay, my fault. My fault. All right, let's go and get our SCBA on, and uh, we should be good to go to go ahead and start putting out this puppy. Let's go ahead and get a paramedic on scene here. Where is my SCBA, bro? Am I wearing it? No, I don't really care now. Anyways, okay, so it looks like they're setting up some equipment here. But, uh, ooh, it looks like we do have the Mobile Operations Center coming in here as well. Check this out. I'm going to get some, uh, hazmat neutralizer. And, uh, let's go ahead and get this good stuff going now. I don't believe there's anybody actually inside of the truck. There might be, though. I didn't see anybody upon arrival. Um, I'm not going to lie. The driver probably disintegrated, okay? I'm not going to lie. Probably disintegrated, uh, with all this, uh, with all this stuff here, so... We have set up a little base camp here. We're going to get DOT to go ahead and close off all these roads here. And uh, I think they are on their way here. We have the uh, Mobile Operations Center in command as well. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get some of this chemical spill up here. Let's go ahead and request a couple of tow trucks to go ahead and get this vehicle out of here if needed. But uh, this stuff is no joke. It is extremely toxic to our environment. Now, I assume that this truck was actually heading to that power plant um, to go ahead and get some, uh, get some of this stuff going. But... Uh, yeah, it looks like we are cleaning up some of this hazmat stuff here. There we go. And we do have a paramedic in case anybody does uh, does get hurt. And there we go. I think we do have a news crew over there as well. So I may be able to go ahead and get a few words with them. But after this, we're going to have to be uh, actually cleaning our uniforms and taking, a, uh, taking, taking one of those water baths over there. Okay, as you can see, 
Um, those things are super cool. Now, that's actually a really unique update because not a lot of games actually have this. So I'm super happy that ERC added this into the game. And uh, super awesome here. And we're just continuing to fill up or to clean up this uh, this uh, spill here. As you can see, if I can get some more hazmat people over here to help clean me this, uh, help clean this up, that'd be great. But uh, nice. We got some more uh, engines still arriving on scene here. But after I think this last chemical spill over here, I think this is it. I'm not too sure how to clean up these barrels though, so we're gonna leave that to DOT to go ahead and get all this cleaned up. We're gonna need a tow truck. Hopefully they're bringing one in. I hope they brought one. They probably didn't. But uh, anyways, check this out. We got these barrels of oil that are or not oil, but of I don't even know what it is. Oh, here's another one. I see another one. I don't even know what it is. Chemicals? Yeah, I guess like some type of uh, uh, catalyst agents uh, could possibly be like this. So, um, all right. We're gonna, after this, we're gonna clean up and we're gonna go ahead and have a word with the news crew because I think I see them waiting them patiently over there. Let's go check this out over here. Let's see what they got cooking. Good looking. Um, you guys are all good looking. I'm good looking. I'm so good looking. Good evening, news crew people. And uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, I am with the hazmat response team of River City. Uh, we uh, responded to a call earlier this morning um, about a chemical spill that did trip. I'm sorry, that did uh, t like crash and flip over. Um, as of now, all the chemicals are spilled up, and we're just awaiting DOT to go ahead and get all this equipment out of here. But I do believe that they were on their way to the power plant to go ahead and transport some chemicals to the actual power plant. But as of now, that transport has obviously failed. And uh, we are cleaning it up as quickly as possible. So thank you guys. And uh, excuse me, sir, but just a quick note for your hair. Uh, looks like you used a little too much gel. Uh, go a little easier on the gel. Okay, it, you don't want it to be rock hard, your hair. Got it? All right, good job, buddy. All right, anyways, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and clean off, actually. I'm going to go ahead and uh, disinfect with one of those uh, washing, uh, little washing inflatable stands here. But here we go. We're going to clean like it's never tomorrow there we go look at this i'm taking a shower everyone close your eyes um uh, but all right i'm gonna go take off my uniform here and my equipment because uh the hazmat is obviously not needed anymore at this point but there we go we're gonna turn on or we're gonna put on our uh, ems gloves there we go and i think that was a pretty successful and quick takedown now we don't want any of the chemicals actually running into the environment but uh there we go I, my allergies i swear i'm not sick everybody but i swear but in the meantime, while we're waiting for this tow truck, everybody, let's check out this mobile operation center. All right, let's go ahead and have uh, the ugliest person go ahead and open up the back, which would be you versed in YouTube. Versed in YouTube over here. There we go. Go and open up the back versed in YouTube. And nice. All right. Let's see this puppy. So we can actually walk into this mobile operation center here. Bro. Oh, there we go. There we go. And there's bunk beds here. You can actually store stuff, and uh, there's some places here as well. So, I'm sitting inside of this mobile command center. Now, everybody, we actually have a FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation Command Center, in my server right now. So, if you guys want to go ahead and use that, uh, the code is RUFFLES in all caps. But, uh, very awesome. Now, I do believe that the tow truck is on their way here. Um, they're somewhere. I'm not sure where. But, uh, they're somewhere. Long gone. They're not here anytime soon. Cool. All right. Now, I think that should do it so we could start cleaning up the hazmat stuff. I believe that all the tanks are uh, are eventually fixed here. But uh, I think the tow truck's coming here. Oh, there they are. Yeah, bring them in here. I'm going to pick up this tent here. Yeah, bring them in. Just back it up here right back to the truck. And uh, have everybody move out of the way here. We'll get this tow truck situated and we'll get on out of here. All right, there we go. That's a terrible job backing up tow truck. Just letting you know. I think you are the worst tow truck driver I've ever seen in my whole life. Okay. Go ahead and... Oh, dude. Bro. All right. Go and just put the bed down. All right. Don't be insulting. Sorry, ma'am. Please don't arrest me. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and try and load these barrels up onto the, onto the back of the truck so that we uh, that we have to keep... I'm not ma'am. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. Don't hurt me. Okay. All right. Yeah. Go and get this thing, this thing towed here. Okay. Yeah. Get it towed. Does these have a, I don't even know if these, like, work. Okay. Hopefully they do. Can't tow it. Oh, okay. I don't know how you get that out of there then. Okay. Anyways, but uh, I think that was a pretty uh, good roleplay with our first hazmat uh, special operations thing. 
Very cool, everybody. If you guys want to go see some more hazmat operations, go ahead and comment down below in the comments what you guys want to go ahead and see next. And thank you guys for watching this video. Drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy any part of this. And without further ado, everybody, that's going to do for today. My name is Ruffles Official, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.